This is the HP 1020, a practically prehistoric printer. And this is a Raspberry Pi. You see, there's only one problem with this printer. It's corded. So today, we're turning this prehistoric beast into a modern marvel using Raspberry Pi. Welcome to the Tech Fellas. This ancient Lenovo ThinkPad is why I had to use every time I wanted to print something. And who has time for plugging things in? As you guys can see, powering this thing on is a nightmare. I mean, look at how long it takes to start up. This whole process can take upwards of 15 minutes, and I just don't have that kind of time. So obviously, I need a better solution. Let's jump right in. So I've already pre-configured my Raspberry Pi using the Raspberry Pi imager, so let's boot it up. Alright, now that we have everything hooked up, we're going to the Windows command prompt. Once we open that up, we're going to SSH into our Raspberry Pi using SSH space and pi at, in this case, my host name is the tech fellas, we'll say that local. Okay. It's going to ask us for the password. I'll put that in. Alright, so we are in. Alright, to set up this print server, I'm going to be using CUPS, which stands for Common Unix Printing System, along with Samba, which offers file sharing and printing services between different OSs across the network. If you want to follow along at home, I'll drop all of those commands in the description. Alright, now we're going to go into the cups page that we had earlier. And remember that's your host name, dot local, and then colon 631. Alright, you can also do your IP. But this works too. Okay, we're gonna go into the admin page. We're gonna click add printer. Alright, now it wants us to change our IP. So just put this in first. It's easier. Alright, just ignore this. We need security. Proceed. Alright, so now we are in that admin page. We're gonna click add printer. It'll prompt you for a username and password. I believe the default is pi and then raspberry. Oh, that did not work. So it looks like that's going to be your username and your password for the actual Raspberry Pi. Alright, so the printer we have is an HP LaserJet 1020. So I'm just going to select that. Discovered, and then we don't, it's not a network printer. So we're just going to hit continue. Alright. And we're just going to leave these. You can change these all. But I'm just going to leave these as is. Alright, at this step, it's really important to click share this printer so that anyone can access it. So click continue. Alright, so now it wants us to select the make. Looks like these are all the same, so I'm just going to select this one. See, requires plugins. Looks the same. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to click add printer. Alright, so it's been added successfully. Go. 
we're going to click see print options. Alright, you shouldn't really need to... I'm not going to select anything different here, just set default options. Alright, so Cups has been configured. Hit Control P. We're going to select HP Laser Jet. Hit Print. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Please subscribe if you liked this video.